This is a video podcast by Natalie and Queenie on the Hong Kong independent film Big Blue Lake. The Big Blue Lake is a story about Lai Yi, an actress who lost her job at the beginning of her thirties, going back to her hometown Ho Chung Village to explore her past and future. Returning to her home after ten years, Lai Yi was shocked to discover her mother had Alzheimer's disease and failed to remember her. While she struggled to readjust to the pace of life in the village, she met her former classmate Lam Chun. As they explore their past together, the memory of the mysterious Big Blue Lake eventually gave them courage to face their life again. The title of our video podcast is Hong Kong Independent Films' Response to Its Globalizing Cinema. This film shows how urban landscape can be omitted from it. Recent Hong Kong productions usually have a strong urban vibe and rhythm, such as Office and Helios. While ho- Hollywood blockbusters Batman, The Dark Knight, and Transformers: Age of Extinction both feature Hong Kong's beautiful skyline and the renowned Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center, as in the eyes of the world, they represent Hong Kong. In this movie, modern buildings and hotel rooms are shown at the beginning, but are replaced by the refreshing village scenery later on. The director uses a field technique to demonstrate the following themes, such as mise en scène, cinematography, and character, which includes dialogue. Through the dialogue between the two protagonists, who represent urban and village, the characterization is much developed. And help the film to emphasize the divergence between the urban and village mindsets. For instance, when they prepare for the hike to search for the Big Blue Lake, Lam Chun was very cautious, as if it was a serious hiking that might associate with danger. He packed a lot and requested for a precise map, a compass, and GPS. In contrast, Lai Yi was very calm and casual, as if she was just going to do some shopping. Up there, and was very familiar with the area. Also, the way they expressed their emotion when they were sad manifested the significant distinction between village and city kids. The movie illustrates a few global phenomena, one of them being urbanization, which means traditional villages become more urbanized. In the movie, Lam Chun and Lai Yi signed. As they saw farmlands are replaced by houses, also they found out that after construction, the river looks just like a drainage. About the production of the Big Blue Lake, it is directed by Jesse Zhang Chunshan and produced by Teresa Kwong. The leading actress and actors are Lila Tong and Lawrence Chow. Produced by Golden Scene and produced by River Vision Production, with the support of Hong Kong Art Center. The film also took part in several international film festivals, such as Vancouver International Film Festival, Asian Film Festival, and Stockholm International Film Festival. Watching our video podcast, hope this could help you understand more about independent film in Hong Kong. Thank you. Bye bye.